Mario Wonder is approaching and approaching fast, and I can't tell you guys how excited I am for this game. And you guys should be too. There are numerous reasons why you should be excited, so in today's video, I'm giving you reasons why you should pick up Mario Wonder. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh my, who is calling me while I'm recording? Hello Mario. Yes. Did you know that only 1.4% of your audience who watches your videos are subscribed? What? Yeah, and a whopping 98.6 people who watch you are not subscribed. Well, I'll tell them right now. Okay, Nario, have a great day. And you know, you're the best Nintendo YouTuber to ever be made. Oh my god, I just love you so much. No, oh, thank you so much. Bye bye now. Hey guys, I just got informed that only 1.4% of my audience are subscribed and 98.6% of my audience aren't. So if we can reverse that, that'll be quite alright with me. Now on with the video. Number 1. It's a totally fresh new Mario game. If you're a Mario fan, you would know that it's been quite some time since the new mainline entry came upon us. And it's been 11 years since we had a totally brand new 2D Mario game. Super Mario Bros. Wonder will give us a new fresh start and kind of a new look at the beginning of a new era. With a new art style and power-ups, I think it's safe to say that this isn't the same Mario that glowed up our screens when Super Mario Bros. NES released in 1985. And plus with Charles Martinet retiring from the role of Mario and others, we have a new voice among us. Kevin Afghani was recently revealed to be the new voice actor for Mario. Now I've heard the voice clips from Mario and for Mario Wonder and you probably have too and I think he's doing a pretty decent job. I wish him luck in the future. Number 2. The Art Style Alone We've never seen this kind of art style when it comes to a 2D Mario game. When you think of 2D Mario, you think of colorful and vibrant, right? Well Mario Wonder is that but doubled. You can tell Nintendo really wanted to say, hey, this is indeed not your average Mario game it's better. Everything looks so lighter and more fun than usual, and with the addition of the Wonder Flower, it can get even more artistic with it changing the background and more. Trust me, if this is one of those rare instances where you have never touched a Mario game before, this game is for you. It shows you the Mario we know and love, and it can also show you the side of Mario where things can get out of hand. Number 3. The Characters when I say the characters, I'm not just talking about Luigi. I'm saying we actually have a lot of characters to choose from, and I'm not even counting the colors of the Yoshis. This is Peach's third time being playable out of all the mainline Mario games. No, I'm not counting Peach yet. And this is Daisy's first time being playable in a mainline Mario title. We've got Toadette, which is her second time being the playable character in a mainline title. Then we have the Yoshis and the Nabbit. Nabbit will still be his easy self and won't take a hit like in New Super Luigi U and New Super Mario Bros U Deluxe, and still can't use any power ups either. And the Yoshis take Nabbit's path as being easy as well, and like I said, they come in colors. I think we should finally appreciate that Nintendo realized there are more characters to play as than Mario and Luigi and the Toads. We may even get more with hopes of DLC. Number 4. The online actually sounds pretty good. When I mention online and Nintendo in the same sentence, you probably start thinking of <laughs> While this game does not have that online play option where you can play different levels with your friends, but if you watch the direct, what they went with as far as online doesn't sound that bad. You can create rooms with your friends with a mode called Friend Races. You can also see what level your friends are playing, and if you go to that same level, you can see your friends as a shadow, and even leave a stand-in character as like a checkpoint for other players. So while we don't have regular online play, what we do have sounds pretty fun. Number 5 is not afraid to stand out. Almost all of the Mario games take place in the Mushroom Kingdom. In this game, it's takes a little break from the Mushroom Kingdom, as it takes place in a land not too far from the Mushroom Kingdom, the Flower Kingdom. It's a totally new plot and is not what we're used to as it introduces us to a new character named Prince Florian who rules the Flower Kingdom. But then you automatically know that it's a Mario game because it involves Bowser wreaking havoc as he merged himself with his clown car in Prince Florian's castle due to him getting the whole of the Wonder Flower. While it sounds like Bowser doing Bowser things, him merging himself with a castle is definitely new. Yeah, we kind of saw that in Paper Mario N64 when he basically merged his castle and Peach's castle together, but no, this time he merged himself and his clown car into Prince Florian's castle. It honestly kind of reminded me of King Ollie from Paper Mario The Origami King. Number 6. The Badges We're usually used to seeing badges in the classic Paper Mario games, but in Wonder we now have badges to help us with courses. In the Paper Mario games, the badges would usually help us in battle and also help out with other things outside of battle. Mario Wonder's badges work the same way. The ones that really stood out to me the most were the parachute cap which you can glide across the stage, the grappling vine as it literally turns you into Spider-Man, and there are a lot more that we haven't seen yet that I am excited to try out.
out, and you should be excited about them too. Number seven, the Wonder Flower, and more specifically, the Wonder Flower effects. From what we saw from different trailers, the Wonder Flower can have a lot of different effects on the stages, making pipes move, a stampede of sheaves, the ground becoming a wave, and not only does it change the scenery, but also the characters' forms, as it can change them into a balloon, a spiky ball, a stretchy version of a character, and more. From what we've seen, the Wonder Flower can have hilarious effects that will probably have you laughing. Not to mention, when you get a Wonder Flower, the announcer yells out this. <laughs> I mean, it literally gives me chills. Number eight, no time limit. Super Mario Bros. Wonder marks the second time in the 2D Mario game to not have any time limit for the levels, excluding some wonder effects that may have some time limits, and with the first one being Super Mario Bros. 2. I can understand why they didn't put a time limit, not because they wanted it to stand out, but because they wanted players to have the opportunity to explore the levels, since it looks like there are a bunch of things they pack into each level. Number nine, these talking flowers. I gotta say, and this might be a little bit of a hot take here, I absolutely love these talking flowers. They greet you, give you jokes, have witty things to say, and most importantly, they can give you hints. And they also look quite stylish. Oh my god, I feel like Fraser saying that. I am wounded! But if you don't like them and find them annoying, there is an option to turn them off. And finally, number 10, this. Whoa, Zowie! There is absolutely no reason for you not to love this. I mean, we've seen Mario in plenty of animal costumes, frogs, flying squirrels, cats, but I can assure you I did not think elephants would be on the list. But they made it work, which is why it is so cool to me. You're extra strong and you can spray water from your trunk to defeat enemies and make flowers grow. I mean, what more could you want really? And there you have it, my 10 reasons why you should pick up Mario Wonder. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, consider subscribing and hitting that bell, and I will see you in the next one.